Hey guys, and welcome to a Let's Play video. It has been a very long time since I have done a Let's Play video, but as you can see, I am not level 30 yet. Like I said in a previous video, I didn't know that the developers gave me uh, the Mantle Power patch for free uh, when it came out for real life money only. So I'm starting just the same as you guys, and as most of you know, or some of you know, I don't really have time to play on the weekdays, that's why I don't stream or anything on the weekdays. So, um, I do make videos though on the weekdays, and why not level up and make videos at the same exact time? <laughs> It'd be pretty awesome, right? So, that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna do Let's Play videos, I mean, it's, it's, I guess, it's still true of content, even though I don't upload it anymore. Uh, and a lot of people have always wanted it to come back, so it's gonna come back for a little bit until I hit level 30 with my classes again. Or at least one class, so I can at least do any other type of video besides the Let's Play video. Um, because I, I just need to hit level 30 to do anything else. Um, in terms of mental power. So, that's what we are going to be doing for at least a week or two until I can hit 30. I might even hit 30 on the weekend, because I'll be streaming on the weekend. We'll see. Uh, but basically, another reason why I wanted to bring back the Let's Play series for at least a at least for a week, is because a lot of people have been wanting me to, you know, do a rant video on Tryon, or, you know, just just talk about Tryon and everything I find wrong with Tryon, or just whatever, any anything um, about Tryon and their updates, and, you know, what, what the game is nowadays. Um, especially, like, after Scythe made a video on it, too, people have been asking me to uh, do one, because, obviously... I am at like the forefront of <laughs> criticizing Tryon, so when somebody else does it, people come running to me to ask me to, you know, continue the conversation. So, I'll that's what I'm going to do in this series. I'm going to make it basically like everything that's wrong with X and X feature or X and X update or X and X anything really. Um, and considering, like I said, Scythe made a a video on something he did not agree with. Uh, we can use that as context for this video, and that is the that is the gem system. So this video is most likely going to be like uh, everything that's wrong with the gem system. Now, as a warning, I don't know much about the gem system personally because again, I'm only level 24, and I did not play PTS. I did not do the week early patch because I didn't know that I had it, <laughs> um, and. Yeah, that's, that's as far as my experience goes. Um, it's just like a day of experience. But I've watched other people. Obviously, I saw Slice's video, so I have a little context there. I have thousands of you telling me <laughs> everything that's wrong with it. And yeah, this is going to be my take on it. Um, I'm going to try to play a little bit of Devil's Advocate through some of the things. But for the most part, uh, we're going to say everything that's wrong with it. So let's talk about the gem system. Uh, what the gem system is uh, in terms of the idea of it so right now you know when you farm your i think it's u3 plus i don't i don't honestly know uh when you farm your uber levels let's just say u6 u7 uh you know you get your gem boxes and they drop a random gem depending if you do it uh the normal rolls which i that's what i do because why would i farm air if i don't need an air gem yet um so let's just say you farm the regular uh, world and you get you know the gem box this the non-specific gem box when you get a gem out of that it's going to be a random uh, a random primordial or element and it's going to have random amount of stars and it's going to have a random value to each of the stats that rolled uh, if you roll a zero star item it's going to have one stat on it if you roll a one star gem it's going to have let me just blast my way through here. <laughs> if you roll a one star gem, it's going to have two stars or two stats on it. And if you roll a two star gem, uh, it's going to have three stats on it. And it can have up to three, I believe. Um, and like I said, if you have a two star gem, it is those are the three stats you're going to have on your gear. Now, I have seen people complain that you can get physical damage as a magic casting class. This, I'm going to get out of the way right now because I might as well just get out of the way first. The reason why you're getting physical damage on your gem as a magic caster is because you're doing it wrong. <laughs> um, you do not want to level up a gem that is below two stars. The main reason, obviously, is because you're risking the gem. 
If a gem is ruined, it is ruined forever. You cannot reroll it. Uh, the other reason is because you don't know what you're going to get. Even if it wasn't physical damage, you don't know what you're going to get if it's not two stars. So oh, never roll anything. Never level up a gem that's below two stars. And there's that out of the way. <laughs> that is just a common misconception that I can throw out the way right now that doesn't need to be complained about because that is just... I mean, it, it should be complained about that a a gem is useless, but it's not useless because that is gem dust. It's, it's basically just gem dust. Just think of it. If you see a gem, stellar or not, if it has zero, less than two stars, just think of it as gem dust. That's all. Um, I know it kind of sucks when you find a radiant gem and you're thinking of it as gem dust, but that's just how it is. Which can be a complaint in itself, like I said, that it's kind of a useless two useless levels, but, you know, that's just how it is. Um, so, with that out of the way, let's talk about the system. Let's keep going on the system. Like I said, it could be random. Now, this randomness, I understand, or many of you might not understand, was actually back in the day. Uh, that's how all gear used to be. All gear used to have different tiers of rolls on them. So, you can say there was a, let's say, a Shadow Hat that you rolled health regen on it. There's three different tiers for it. So let's say the Shadow Hat had uh, tier three health regen was 1,000 to 1,500. The Shadow or the tier two was uh, 1,500 to 2,000, and then the tier one was 2,000 to 2,500. That is basically how the randomness of this system works. It is the exact same system as it was back in the day. They are just reusing it. Which is not a good idea. That is one of the reasons of what is wrong with the gem system. You can't take an old system and bring it back just for the sake of being a little bit more grindy. The game was a little bit more grindy back in the day because you were not guaranteed a, a, a stat value. If you roll you know, health regen on a Radiant 5 star right now, it is always going to be like 3,700 or whatever. What is it? Yes, yeah, 3,700. It'll always be that because it's a fixed value. However, with gems, that is not the case because they went back to the old ways where it is in tiers. You can have a gem that rolls the three perfect stats for you, you know, crit damage, crit hit, magic damage, but they could be all the lowest tiered rolls, and you cannot fix that. Back then, you could fix it with tentacles. You used to be able to use tentacles in your gear, and that would fix it. It would take a lot of tentacles because, again, it was random, but um, you can still do it. With gems, you can't. If you ruin a gem, it is ruined forever. And that is also why I suggest never ever rolling a gem that is lower than two stars because you have an increased chance of ruining that gem forever and you have to just deconstruct it. That's just how it is. You have to just get rid of it. Just forget about it. Uh, which is bad design. That is the reason why they got rid of it on gear because it was a bad design. Uh, it wasn't a bad design necessarily on gear. It worked for gear um, to an extent. But there is still a reason why they got rid of it, right? Um... So bringing it back is not only inconsistent, because now people are not used to it. That was over a year ago when that patch uh, fixed, that fixed it came out. Uh, or it was like eight months to a year ago. So no player that plays today, 99% of players that play today don't even know that that was a thing. Um, so it brings inconsistencies, and then it just makes it grindy for the sake of being grindy. Because also, you could buy tentacles for your gear. You cannot buy gem dust. It is untradeable. Everything that has to deal with uh, gems are untradeable. They're only purchasable with real life money. That is the only way to obtain it without actually grinding for it. Which makes it, again, grindy just for the sake of being grindy. Um, and that is, that is the main point I feel that people are complaining about. Again, I haven't even dived into the gem system, so I have no personal experience, but I am just reiterating what I have heard and also what I can notice just from common sense. Um, now, let's talk about the thing that I have the most problem with, and that is the fact that a week ago, this item right here, where is it? It's not here. Uh, gems. This item right here did not exist a week ago. Do you want to know why this item exists now? The reason why this item exists now is because these packs right here are semi-invalid. If you did not buy that pack, you weren't going to buy it anyways. So what Tryon have thought of, because, well, now that everyone, or now that the patch is free for everybody, how are we going to milk as much money out of this patch as possible uh, now that it's free? 
um, because, well, the packs are just for free gem or for a boost of gems, and that's basically it. You also get a Clash Gem Key and the Tome, um, which gives you one empowered gem box a week. <laughs> um, so how are we going to further our profits now that the patch is free? Well, the way that they decided to do it is by releasing an item that is so pay to win that it actually beats out greater dragon caches for pay to winness. It is so pay to win that it beats out dragon, uh, greater dragon caches because even though dragon coins are untradeable, they are far more easier uh, in terms of their usefulness uh, than gem dust. You need thousands and thousands and thousands of gem dust. You only need 300 dragon coins per dragon, uh, per future dragon. And 400 for the primordial ones, but um, the same, it's the same thing. 300 dragon coins is easy to obtain. The thousands and thousands of gem dust that you need to upgrade your gems is not easy to obtain. Uh, another thing is that it it just proves the point that they are out for money. Um, this has always been obvious, but if it wasn't more obvious, how about you take the fact that this did not w uh, exist a week ago when the patch was not free, but now that the patch is free, it does exist. <laughs> and it exists to... For that sole purpose, it's there literally so people will buy it. It's not there so people can obtain it in game because the only way you can obtain it in game is through having a high enough rank. You have four, uh, you can have four ranked leaderboards. Um, what I mean by that is that there's four contests that you can obtain it with. You can be 2.5k rank or above for all three classes, and then you can also have uh, 10,000 plus rank with uh, mastery, which is easier. It's, it's subjective if that's easier or hard. It depends on you how much time you play the game. If you can have a high ranking, cl all three classes have uh, over radiant gear as well as you know having high enough mastery to get that. That is for free for one week. The other way you can obtain them, I believe, is through empowered gem boxes. I don't know if it's gem gem boosters. Uh, I think they're called right gem boosters. I don't. Yeah, gem booster boxes are empowered. If they are empowered. Uh, again, I don't know. I don't remember. I did the patch notes yesterday, but I forget. <laughs> um, if they are empowered, though, the way you get empowered gem boxes is through Titan Souls. If you can only do hard and you're not 10,000 power rank or above, you're only going to get 15 Titan Souls per week. You can also have the Tome, which you can only buy th through real-life money. And it's a very expensive Tome. It's 4,000 credits, which is like... 20 or 30 dollars <laughs> and you get one per week that way so in total you can receive around 10 to 15 empowered gem boxes keep in mind this is a very rare drop from these empowered gem boxes that you can only obtain about 15 per week with that means it's they made it so hard to obtain that you want to buy it with real life money that is its entire existence is to just make money that is something i have an issue with and it is extremely obvious because it did not exist a week ago when the patch was not free. Now the patch is free, now it exists. Um, so yeah, that is that is the major complaint that I have is that item specifically. Um, another thing that I want to kind of just throw out there is that nobody's going to have all nine gems perfect. I'm sorry <laughs> if you feel that way, but that is st statistically nearly impossible. To have all nine gems perfect. Now that is saying something about the system. If you have a system that is nearly impossible to almost basically being impossible to obtain perfect gear with, that is not being grindy for the sake of being grindy. That is too grindy. At that point it becomes too grindy when it's nearly impossible. Um, and that is also again to encourage buying these nine live thingies. But, these 9 life things are very expensive. If you want to max out your character, you're going to have to spend $2,500 to um, max out your gems. If you, if you level them up all the way from level 0. There are a few factors that make it not specifically $2,500. But, uh, because I do believe that you know maybe getting rank 0 to maybe 10, 15 is easy enough that you don't have to use these things. But there's also the case that you need the perfect stats first on that gem before you use them. 
So if you don't have perfect stats on that gem, you're gonna have to keep finding another gem to level up. Uh, which could increase the price. If you do not know the stat rolls, if you don't know the specific, like, what is the highest, which nobody knows right now because it's such a new system that the only people that know the exact values are the developers until we have a large enough uh, example pool or whatever um, information pool to where we can, as a community, decide that this is the highest roll you can have on that piece of, or that stats. Nobody knows. So you're gonna just have to keep leveling up gems until everybody figures out what is the highest, you know, attack speed roll you can have on a gem. I don't even know if you can attack speed. Let's just say crit damage. What is the highest crit damage percentage you can have on a gem? We're not gonna know that until we figure it out. In that time, people are going to want to figure it out. Um, so people are going to keep leveling gems. Uh, you don't have to level gems to figure this out. As long as you, say, open up relic boxes, you can always open up a relic box and you can take maybe 100 gems that have critical damage on them, and then you can figure out what is the highest roll for a relic. But you're gonna have to do that for Stellar too, because you can't level up the rarities of the gems. So you're gonna have to do that with Stellar. So you're gonna have to keep finding Stellar gems, uh, which you're probably going to want to be leveling up, because once you get a Stellar gem, you're gonna want to level that up, because that is a lot of power rank that you're missing out on. Um, but you're gonna have to keep making Stellar gems, leveling them up, until you find out what is the perfect set. So, it could be more than $2,500 that you would spend. Again, nobody's going to do that. By the way, Tryon, nobody cares about your game enough to spend $2,500 on it. This isn't Clash of Clans. This isn't, you know, a hardcore leaderboard game where, you know, the entire purpose of Clash of Clans is to be the leaderboard, the top of the leaderboard. Uh, and that's the only reason why people even spend thousands of dollars on it is because millions of people play that game. Millions of people don't play your game. Uh -huh. And... Uh, that is a goal for that game. This game didn't even have leaderboards for the first two years of its life cycle. Um, so I just want to throw that out there that maybe you overpriced them. Maybe if they're cheaper, people would be more susceptible to it. But even though it's still pay to win, it doesn't make it okay to lower the price. But it would at least make it so even the people that want to pay to win would actually buy it. For now, nobody wants to buy those, those things. Uh, but they still exist. And yeah, I hope I didn't go too off track on that. I hope I... My, my uh, point came off clearly. I think I might have went on a tangent for a second and lost track of what I was trying to say. But for the, for the most part, you guys get what I'm trying to say. The gem system is, I agree, broken. Um, I wouldn't say it's, it's out of the world broken because that's how gear used to be. If I want to play a little bit of Devil's Advocate. Same thing with, like, the people, even if you find, like, say, a stellar gem that's zero star and you want to level up that stellar gem... That's because that algorithm is already in place. If you find a, a face and you're a Tomb Raider, it will always have the chance of rolling physical damage. That has always been the case. So I don't find the whole physical damage on a magic uh, class valid because that's literally the algorithm that's always been in the game that literally exists right now for your face. Um, the in-game face, not like your face in real life, but you know what I mean. Uh, so I don't find that as a valid complaint, but I do find everything else as a valid complaint. It is is grindy for the sake of being grindy um everything is untradeable so you have to grind it everything is expensive so that way you have to buy it and it just makes the entire system pay to win if you do not pay for this system you are out of luck i'm sorry you're never ever ever going to get a perfect gem it's going to be too grindy you're going to give up by the time you get enough gem dust to level up a perfect gem i'm sorry um so yeah it is it's just try on at this point like that's basically the the uh, conclusion to all of these rants or rambles or you know just you know discussions. It's try on. That's always going to be the conclusion because it's literally what it is. It's, look at Arc Age. This is nothing compared to Arc Age. So I can only expect what is more to come. Greater Dragon Caches. You know classes were the start. Patron Pass was a semi start uh, or a semi like expansion on the class change. Greater drag caches were just literal. Their point was to be for people to spend money on the game and pay to win all the dragons that they didn't have already. Um, and then this is just, you know, how are we going to make money after we can't make money off of a patch anymore? That is because it's free. Well, let's make the patch not free. Like, that's literally what they're doing. They're just make. Why not just have people buy the expansion? That's what I'm, that, that's what I'm thinking. It would be better if it, the expansion was just 10 bucks. Just make the expansion 10 bucks. Everyone buys it, and then everyone gets what they want. There's no nine lives thing. There could still be boosters, but just have them 
for qubits, you know? If you have the expansion, you can buy them through qubits. Uh, I would feel that that would be a much better way, but again, this is Tryon. This is never going to happen. Um, just, you know, keep that in mind. It's just, you know, we as a community can think of ways that Tryon are not going to put into the game. Because that's what players do when the developers or the, the publishers do not care. <laughs> it's just, it's just speculation, but yeah, um, that's my take on it. Uh, I hope it was unique enough that people cared for anything I had to say. Again, I tried to be more in depth of why things are the way they are. The whole reason why, you know, the gem system is random is because that's how gem or uh, gear used to be. So they probably thought it was a good idea since back in the day, the game was more grindy. If we're going to make something untradeable, uh, a system entirely untradeable might not bring that system back. It was a bad idea because uh, it brings inconsistencies. People are not used to that system. People don't even know that system existed. And then it also is just compounded by the fact that uh, it is everything is untradeable unless you spend real money on it. And back then, you could not pay to win to skip the entire randomness. You can now. Um, also, the fact that they made an item specifically because the patch is not free anymore is just is just I don't even it's just anti-consumer that's basically what it comes down to they're being anti-consumer friendly and it's it's just yeah uh, so that's basically that's basically it uh, I hope this video wasn't too long and I hope it came across the way that I thought it would come across and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give a like and I will see you guys next time Oh,